Okay, these next three problems are very algebraic. It says find all zeros. You may use your graphing calc as a check, but you must show the algebra. I'm going to do them three different ways. Um, first one, x squared minus 36. This is a good old-fashioned set it equal to zero and solve. x squared equals equal to 36. x is plus or minus 6. Um, next one, um, I notice to the fourth power, to the second power, and then no power. I'm going to solve this one by factoring. The first thing I'm going to do, I'll set it equal to 0, and I'm going to factor a 2 out of everything just to help myself factor a little bit. x to the fourth minus x squared. Um, 2 out of 40 is minus 20. All right, um, I get 0 equals 2, and now I'm going to factor x to the fourth is x squared and x squared. Factors of negative 20 that will give me negative 1 should be 5 and 4. Minus 5 plus 4. Let's check it. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth plus 4x squared minus 5x squared is negative x squared uh, minus 20. That should work. Now, this 2, I can divide it off in my head, divide by 2, divide by 2, and it wipes out, wipes out. So I'm going to set 0 equals x squared minus 5 times x squared plus 4. I will set x squared minus 5 equal to 0, add 5, square root, x equals plus or minus root 5. I'll set x squared plus 4 equal to 0. Um, x squared equals negative 4 when I subtract that over and I will square root. The square root of negative 4 is plus or minus 2i. My original problem had x to the fourth which means I need four answers. My four answers are plus or minus root 5 and plus or minus 2i. Um, the third one, um, I'm going to do it yet another way. I went ahead and graphed it y equals x cubed uh, minus x squared minus 20x. I'll hit the graph button and I got this big Johnny T looking thing here that goes like that and I have some zeros here. I notice one zero is zero. Well that's because I can factor an x out and then my other ones are here and here. So I know I have an answer of 1, 2, 3, negative 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I kind of already know my answers on this one, but I'm going to do the algebra anyway um, to prove it. So I'm going to take an x out. I'm left with x squared minus x uh, minus 20 equals 0. So there's 1. x is equal to 0. I got that one taken care of. Um, I'm looking for three total answers. Man, I could do this a lot of ways. I could do synthetic division, which I'll try. Let's use that negative 4 that we know is going to work. 1, negative 1, negative 20. I'll bring down the 1, multiply, I get negative 4, add, I get negative 5, multiply, I get 20, add, I get 0. So there's another 0, negative 4. And then my last one, that should work, um, 5 should work, the other 0 on the picture. So I'll bring down the 1, that's 5, that's a 0. So I found my other one, which is 5. Now, right here, I could have factored it also. I could have used the quadratic formula also. Um, I just kind of wanted to do a different method than what I've done already on this worksheet. I've, I've already used um, factoring. I haven't had to use synthetic division yet, so I went ahead and did that, and I found all three answers, one, two, three. I found all four answers, one, two, three, four, and I found all two answers, one, two.